Right now, more schools in the Granite State are making the difficult decision about whether to allow for sports in the fall. Portsmouth School Board met for well over six hours yesterday talking about this. WMUR's Ray Brewer is live in Manchester. And Ray, what did the school board finally decide? Aaron, at the end of the meeting, the Portsmouth School Board decided to form a subcommittee that will make a recommendation on what they should do. We are not um, in a position right now to give an exact timeline on this. After first deciding to allow low-risk sports like golf and cross-country to compete and allow other sports to hold only practices and scrimmages, Portsmouth board members decided to put together a subcommittee that will explore competition for other sports. When asked why they're deciding not to vote on offering sports, the school board says that while it has the power to vote on policies, there is no clear guideline about making these kinds of decisions. My understanding is that we were not empowered to do this and we have not abdicated the decision. Um, and if we were to do anything, it would be what we've seen a couple other places do, which is to override the decision of our uh, of our administrators. That brought a lot of blowback and confusion from the public, especially since school boards all over the state are voting on sports. As a board, you guys have failed. You have failed our children. You failed to do what you were elected to do. Some parents pleading with the school board to let them decide what's best for their kids. We're not asking to go back to play normal football or normal sports. We're asking to go back to be able to play and compete with the guidelines from the NHIAA, let us make the choice. Let us and our families and the individuals and the athletes make their own choice. Some board members also spoke up for parents and reasoned with parents' disappointments. I don't want to see students or parents having to wait for another two weeks for something to be brought back and rehashed or have more discussion. Meanwhile, elsewhere, school boards in Salem and Exeter voted to allow fall sports with safety guidelines. Reporting live, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.